What's up everyone, my name is Nigark and welcome back to This is the Police. Stuffed toys purchased for orphanage found toxic. Hearst crashes into ambulance, no survivors. Okay. And price of alcohol to increase by 60%. That's a hell of a hike on alcohol. That's... I don't drink alcohol, so I don't, I don't know, but... That would suck. Uh, Miguel, Getty, and Bailey got food poisoning and I expect to be in hospital for the next five fucking days. I'm too tired, I can hardly walk straight, can I go home? Yeah. Good. Good. It's a, it's a three person day. Good. Um, yeah, I mean, the game makes it really hard to manage everything. Uh, yep, we're unhappy with you. Um, we gotta get rid of one of our employee slots. Fuck that guy. We got a funeral. Another funeral. Another funeral. Uh, please be informed that we are calling in two employees who initiated the complaint against you for August 12th. City Hall cannot meet your request at this time, and the Mafia is finally giving me my money for selling my money. Or something like that. I don't remember what I sold. Uh, an elderly woman has reported that children wearing hoodies have painted rude words on the nearby monument. Adams, you should be able to handle that. I know you're pretty bad, but... Um, a teenage girl slipped past the skyscraper guards and found her way onto the roof. She's now standing on the edge of guard called the police and said that he was afraid to approach the girl. He could tell the girl is serious. How can you tell? Whatever. Go. Oh, good. Another call. A trucker saw a teenage boy climb over the safety fence in the middle of the bridge. The driver stopped and tried to talk to the boy, but the boy became hysterical, screaming, Don't come any closer or I'll jump. I don't have any more people. Oh, and Vargo wants help now too. Um, our guys took out a big rig belonging to Sam, sent it flying onto the river. Everything was going great, but our people were stopped by a local gamekeeper who was holding them at gunpoint. Says they can wait until the police arrive or he'll shoot them. Think you can send one of your guys to take care of it? Yeah, this day started with a lot of shit happening. Like, damn. It was just constant. And the offender escaped. Good. You're great. I guess. Yeah. The game sabotages you. I'm letting you know that right now. It has purposefully dicked me around. Suicide threat. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Good. But yeah, the game, the suicide threat. Did the kid jump? Offender escaped. Civilian killed. Yeah, he definitely escaped. Uh, a pedestrian said he was... He saw a dark pickup careen onto the sidewalk and hit two teenage skateboarders. He didn't even slow down, just smeared those poor kids and kept driving straight ahead. The drunk freak. Oh. That's insane. That's a hell of a hit and run, yeah. Whatever. You you can't fuck this up, right? What's going on here? We received a rambling call from a man who claims he that he returned home from work and to find a huge cat sitting on his doorstep, crouching and ready to attack. It was growling like a Tyrannosaurus, started the victim. He's probably fine. He's probably gonna be okay. So we will send these people to the uh, hit and run. Oh my god. If only I had people. It's, here's the problem. City Hall has fucked me over so hard because they do everything wrong. Like, I wanted to play a game where I'm a good cop, right? I didn't want to be... No, you don't get anything. Hit and run. How did it go? Offender escaped. Officers unharmed. I didn't want to be this person that deals with the fucking mafia and all of that. I wanted to have the option to play everything well. I didn't want to be a dick to the fucking black protests. I wanted to play... Right. The reported Catasaurus Rex is just an ordinary neighbor's pet and poses no threat to anyone. But, for doing that, City Hall fucking hates me, so I've lost all of my officer slots. Like, look at this. I don't have... This is like half of what I started with. So City Hall hates me, which means for losing officer slots, I can't fulfill the shit I need to do in the city to be able to get more officer slots. So, that sucks. I paid $21,000 to a black protest thing to try to make it better, and it didn't work. Like, I lost half of my money to try to get something to work, and it didn't. Like, I have to side with one of the gangs, which I'm probably... whatever. I could have probably have done nothing at one point, 
and just let them stay at 0-0 zero, zero the entire time, which I probably should have done. But I have a feeling I would have been punished for that too in some stupid way. It's just... Once the game punishes you more than like once or twice, it's really hard to fucking come back. Because I can't fulfill all of the shit they need me to do in a day with the amount of officers I have. People wearing white caps have gathered outside City Hall, demanding a return to the good old days of segregation and slavery in Freeburg. The crowd chanting white, chanted white is right. Some were even seen carrying revolvers. Oh. Well, I bet City Hall will still fucking hate me. Supermarket manager Sonia Franco, Sonia Franco reports that an elderly man deliberately overturned the vegetable table and is refusing to pay for damages. He tried to escape, but store guards managed to detain the offender. Whatever, I can't help with that. Nope. I don't have enough people. Sorry. City Hall did this, not me. It was your fault. Uh, nope, refuse. Unlawful assembly. Oh, good. Now two of my officers are dead. Two of my officers entirely dead. I mean, we knew this day was gonna be shit from the beginning. And I believe I can't hire anyone until the next day when they're fucking actually considered dead. Oh boy. Yep. Good. Good shit. The tyrannical rule of the Sand family, which has lasted for generations, has come to an end. The criminal world of Freeburg is transformed beyond recognition. How exactly it will all end up? That's for Vicus Varga to decide. Oh. Declare dead. Declare dead. Um, you're working tomorrow. And so are you. Uh, alright. We're going. Zoo animals starving. Freeburg hosts to greatest lasagna in history. That sounds amazing. Toilet stolen from City Hall. I don't know how that happens. You have an entire official building and people steal your toilets? My dog died yesterday, I'm terribly- no, fuck you. I'm too tired, I can hardly walk straight, can I go home? No. I drank too much, I don't think I can hold it together today? No. I'm sorry, you guys have to be here. This is all of my officers. All of them. This is everyone I have. Yeah, you're unhappy with me. Go fuck yourself. Uh... Yes, I'll get fucked. You always ask for time off. Affairs, police station, labor market... Oh, hello, Grizzly McNally. Uh, we need these people for Shift A. Shift A. And Shift A. There you go. And watch, now that I've hired them, they'll be like, fire everyone with a beard. Or that are black. A man took his dog out for a walk and upon returning home, noticed a hooded figure fumbling with a car at the end of the street. You and you. The the drunks are not gonna be any part of a lead um a lead role today. They will be assistants. They will not be anything else. Alright, Franco. Get out there. You can you can help. I'm sure. You've got something up your sleeve. Doop boop boop boo doop. Uh, a man with dilated pupils boarded a bus and then pulled out a gun, possibly fake. He is demanding that the bus immediately leave for Africa. Well, he is definitely... He's definitely not in a good spot if he's trying to get a bus to go to Africa. Carjacking? Offender cut. Officers unharmed. Good. And Purdy didn't manage to... Never fucking mind. You know, here's the thing. Hostage situation, offender escaped, officer unharmed. Here's the thing. When I send out a team of officers, and it's, you know, Yancey, Purdy, Franco. Well, Yancey and Purdy together. Here's what I thought would happen. Yancey would fucking drive. Purdy would go along. Party would be in the passenger seat. I didn't realize they all took their own goddamn car. 
An anonymous small call came in. Hello, I have information about a missing girl named Lisa Pettigrew. I kidnapped her a week ago, but now she's ready to go home. You can find her at the True Color Hotel room 180B. You better hurry up if you want to see her alive. So, I didn't realize that, um... They all took their own car? Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have sent them anywhere. Yeah. So... Good. A passerby reported that he saw a motorcyclist pull up to a gas station carrying a gun. He entered the station without removing his helmet, then heard screams and gunshots. I mean... What, what, what could I even do? Room 180B is located on the top floor of the hotel. A red ball is hanging from the doorknob, and the word written on the ball read, Call the Bomb Squad. Break down the door. Break down the door. Uh, get a room key, well, get a room key for the hotel room, uh, enter through the roof. Inside is a standard motel room complete with bed, bedside table, telephone, and TV. The curtains are drawn and sitting on the bed is a girl strapped with explosives. Red and yellow wires protrude from the bomb. Exit the room, evacuate the hotel, and wait for the bomb squad. It's the best thing you could have done. I still, I just... I don't know. This is dumb. This is stupid. This is dumb. Why would they take their own car? We're all coming from the same place. Right? At the end of high school, of a high school reunion, a naked young man entered the restaurant with an object in his hand vaguely resembling a gun. He was behaving very erratically, then jumped on the table and started threatening the restaurant's patrons. Oh. Okay. Are you fucking me? Oh my god. The death spiral is real. Once you once you get in a position where you're losing where you can't play City Hall more than a few times, they just fuck you over and over. That's what happens. Freeburg lost to Pittsville twelve to lost to Pittsville twelve to nothing and the local fans are furious. They were screaming and swearing at the visit as at the visiting team. As they retreated to their locker room, himself enraged by the insults, the visiting team's captain threw his stick and struck one of the fans in the face. A massive brawl erupted, involving the fans, players, referees, and even the concession hawkers. Well, that sounds like a pretty serious deal. What I'm curious about in this game is, it takes obviously quite a long time to get further in the game. What happens if I lose all of my officers? Like, what if I just can't continue with the game? Like, what happens? Like, obviously starting over would probably happen, but that's a long way to go. Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Like, I know I can keep hiring people. Is that, is that what I would just have to continuously do, is just keep hiring people? A uh, taxi driver called from a payphone, complaining that a violent customer refused to pay the fare and attempted to leave the car. When the cab driver locked the door, the man went berserk, broke the car safety screen, and attempted to strangle the driver. The driver managed to escape, but the assailant remains locked inside the car. That's pretty... that's pretty crazy. That's insane. Hey, I don't know, I'm just, uh... I'm just not digging it. Ever since I realized that, you know, my $21,000 to try to foolproof the black protest bullshit didn't work, for whatever reason, I'm just, uh, I'm super disheartened by it. Because I, that was, that was not good. That's all. Hey, we did, we did something today. We got somewhere. So, I don't know if I'm gonna continue, it's just... The game is interesting, but I don't like the... how much it punishes you. I just don't. Declare dead. Declare dead. Declare dead. And I could send people over to Shift-A, but I don't want to. Like, I don't- I just don't think I want to continue anymore, it just... Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's all I can really say. It's eh. So I'm, I'm just gonna wrap up the series right there. I'm just not enjoying it. And uh, I, I can tell and I can feel it. So I, if you, if you're interested in the game, I believe it came out today as I'm recording this, so you can check it out for yourself. My name is Nagark. This is This is the Police, and thank you for watching.